Hey there, it's Linda here. Thanks so much for joining me today as I play with this fabulous new grungy music effect stencil and make three signs for boys' bedrooms. So first up, my first sign uses the fabulous Mudra inks and I'm loving the colours uh, tangerine, orange, sky blue and lemon yellow on this first sign today. So I do try to usually apply the ink in three places uh, it's like the points of a triangle so your eye moves around the uh, card front uh, there is the odd occasion when I might just put, apply it in two places but I do tend to come back often and add a third little dash of that color uh, and that's tend to, tends to be what you see me do um, on this sign today so the first color was tangerine orange now we're moving on to the sky blue which is this gorgeous turquoise color and then the lemon yellow uh, blends nicely with the two of those and gives you a quite a beautiful uh, greeny tinge at times too. So the gorgeous new release from Mudra. Uh, I always love their stencils and the stencils again are fabulous but I was really looking for something that I could uh, use on some signs for boys bedrooms. As a classroom teacher I love to give little uh, prizes and incentives to my students and I like to have things on hand that that they can choose from when they've worked really hard during the day so it's all very easy to make signs for girls because <laughs> there's all so many pretty things around and my signs sometimes and cards uh, they're pretty much you know identical you can do the same um, things to your cards as I'm doing on these signs. Uh, they often turn out beautiful for the girls but I really wanted to focus a few on the boys and make them a bit more grungy this time. So I'm just placing the stencil back down exactly in the same spot but then moving it a little bit to the left and I'm going to stencil again over the top using the fabulous Nouveau Moonstone Glimmer Mist or Glimmer, Glimmer Paste I should say love this product so much you've seen me use it before and it certainly gives you this wonderful sparkly effect and I like to offset it a bit because then you still get the vibrant color of the ink in places but you get the muted color as well underneath the sparkle so what a fabulous stencil this is the grunge music effect grungy music effect and I think it's going to really come in handy for lots of beautiful masculine looking projects. So applying the Moonstone Glimmer Paste with a palette knife or a spatula as you may call it, making sure I've got good, good coverage. Just getting to the bottle, bottom of this bottle and thankfully my new bottle arrived just the other day because I don't like to run out of it. It's a wonderful product and I do tend to always have it on hand these days. You do need to wash everything off ASAP so once I remove my stencil it's straight off to the sink to give everything a good clean. I do lift up the card and just wipe away the edges but I don't show you that on camera. And then I add an orange frame and a sweet little slanted sentiment and that first sign is finished. Then I'm using three Distress Inks, Weathered Wood, chipped sapphire and fired brick for this second sign. So weathered wood is going on first and I do add it in three places. It's a bit of a faded muted colored sign this one. Just trying to choose different colors as I said for uh, signs that might appeal more to the boys in the class. So applying the weathered wood in three spots and then moving on to fired brick and lastly it will be the chipped sapphire which is quite a, a deep blue color so these three colors work nicely together and very simple to apply with your blending tools through these beautiful stencils lastly on to the chipped sapphire which is a beautiful blue quite a rich blue if you add enough of it and it does look gorgeous with the other two colors 
So blending it in, getting some coverage in three spots again as I mentioned. I tended to only add the fired brick into two spots and now I'm just blending the two together, the fired brick and the chipped sapphire in a couple of places. Then it's a matter of removing my tape and this time I'm going to splatter on some extra black ink splatters to my sign. Ink splatters work beautifully with this image because it's already quite splatty as you can see. So I'm using the My Inks. Uh, this one is jet black. I've applied some, I've sprayed, I've applied it on my acrylic block and then sprayed on some Perfect Pearl solution and then just mixing that around with my paintbrush and then splattering it on and it just gives you a lovely grungy textured effect and then I've added two little details, a sentiment and a ninja from the Mudra stamp set of course Be a Ninja and that should be a popular one with the boys. So the third sign is on black cardstock because the three texture pastes that I'm using do look so striking on black. So the first one is another Nouveau Glimmer Paste and it's in, let me think of the name, Tanzanite Lavender. So it's a beautiful purple colour and I'm adding it in three little spots on the stencil, not being too fussy about um, where it goes or, or how much or doing anything in particular to um, get it in certain places but just making sure that I've got the three colours in mind as I as I add each colour I'm thinking you know where will the other one fill in so this is a silver texture paste paste sorry cosmic shimmer uh, it's called silver moon and I'm getting very low on it so just scraping to the bottom of the bottle to get enough for this sign and then the final one is another Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Paste and in this pot it is Decadent Teal which is the most beautiful teal colour. So the three colours do work nicely together and when you peel off your stencil you can see that they've added beautiful texture and shine to the black cardstock. And then it's a matter of adding a silver frame. I do just wipe off the edges straight away. It's better to do it when it's dry, sorry, when it's wet, rather than waiting till it's dry when you'll have to crunch it off. I add a silver frame and some sparkling rhinestones as I have on my other two signs, either rhinestones or enamel dots, and my three signs are complete. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I hope you've enjoyed seeing the Mudra products in use and I'll be back again soon.